This video is made possible by NordVPN. Click the link in the description and use code TYLERTUNES at checkout for 68% off a two-year plan and one month free. Stay tuned to find out more. Apparently, 40-ish percent of Americans drink soda daily. So by my calculations, 40-ish percent of Americans are frickin' stupid and have no sense of taste. Also, by the law of transitivity, I am now 60-ish percent of Americans. And since I am the majority of Americans, I'm gonna make soda illegal. What are you gonna do about it? You can't do anything. Soda, or in my case pop, because I'm Canadian, which is actually the correct term for it because little history lesson for you kiddos, the name pop comes from the sound a bottle makes when you remove the cork from it. Now, where does the word soda come from? Nowhere. It's a made up word and a dumb one at that. Like who drank a ginger ale one day and was like, you know what we should call these? We should call them sodas. I need someone to explain to me why people find it enjoyable to drink pop. The entire experience is painful, and why would you ever want to drink something that makes you experience pain? Like what type of sicko are you? The entire time, it feels like you're sucking on a taser, and then you decide to swallow that taser and let it continue to zap your stomach. And there's already something to drink that makes you experience extreme pain, and it's called grape flavored cough medicine. So if you want to drink pure pain, just drink a liter of cough syrup instead of Pepsi. I drink both at the same time. What? And the pain doesn't even stop after you finish drinking your pop. Once you finish, you continue to have the most painful burps, where you feel like you're regurgitating that taser you swallowed while drinking the damn thing. For a drink that has so much sugar, you would at least expect it to taste good. But most pops taste like legitimate garbage. Like what is Mountain Dew even supposed to taste like? What about Coke? Sprite? Sprite is legitimately just lemon flavored sparkling water. Why do people even drink it? Wait, why do people even drink sparkling water? It tastes like crap and you're paying for it. Just turn on your tap and it's basically free. At this point, you're just burning your money. And that's still better than buying sparkling water. Okay, yes, I know pop isn't healthy for you, but like just don't drink 20 of them a day and you're fine. So put down your Coke, sip on a Capri Sun, and eat your apple slices instead. Wait, did you guys know that a single can of Coke has 33 grams of sugar? Holy cow, that's like four and a bit fun size Snickers, which in my opinion is way better than one lousy can of Coke. And at least my Coke isn't full of sugar. It's 100% pure cocaine. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Hey, put your hands up, bucko. What did you just say? Whoa. Oh. What did, what did you say back there? I didn't do none. I asked you a question, big man. Fine, fine, fine. I just ran over a couple kids that were playing in the streets and sold them cocaine, telling them it would make them feel better. Actually, another little history lesson for you kiddos. Did you know that Coca-Cola originally included a small amount of cocaine and was meant to cure morphine addiction by basically just getting you addicted to cocaine instead? Now, you may be asking. Well, Tyler, if pop is so bad, then what can I drink instead? You know how some teachers say there are no wrong answers? Well, in this case, there is a wrong answer, and it's pop. The correct answer is iced tea. Iced tea is the best, no cap. And the reason it's better is because it's not fizzy, and it tastes freaking amazing. What more could you ask for in a drink? And when I'm talking about iced tea, I'm referring to the good stuff, like brisk and nest tea. Not that crap you Americans call iced tea. Sweet tea tastes like utter trash, and you should just stop making it, completely due to the fact that every time I go to the States, I forget about it and end up ordering it, thinking it will be good, then I am severely disappointed and want to jump out the nearest window. Also, just to rub it in your face even more, pop makes you go pee more due to the caffeine in it. So while you guys are peeing constantly, I'll be enjoying my iced tea like the smart human I am. Pop also makes you dehydrated, combined with peeing a whole bunch, which makes you even more dehydrated, meaning you need to drink more, making a massive cycle of peeing and dehydration. This is your punishment for drinking that crap. If I ever have the choice between having to drink a pop or doing irreparable damage to a limb, you already know what my decision will be. Now let me tell you about NordVPN. NordVPN has over 5,200 servers in 59 countries and keeps your data safe when surfing the web on unsecure networks. It is now even faster and more secure thanks to Nordlynx. Have you finished all your favorite shows on Netflix during quarantine? Well then just pop over to Belgium and watch all your favorite Belgian shows. Or is some content blocked in your country? Then use NordVPN to access it. 
Look at all these amazing features you get when you go to my link in the description and use the code TYLERTUNES for 68% off a two-year plan for only $3.71 a month plus one month free. And if you don't like it, well, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Oh, wow, would you look at that? My video, the uh, new video after like four months. Wow. W wow. Yeah, this happens every time. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make the time shorter, but uh, it takes a long time. I try and put a lot of effort in these videos. So if, if you like them, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, I've noticed in my statistics, more than half of the viewers aren't subscribed. So if, if you like this content, subscribe, and I will give you more in another four months or so. That's what my watch says. So yeah, but I um, hope you liked the video. Uh, go check out NordVPN if you haven't, because it's awesome, it's super useful, and it's it, with my coupon code, you get a great deal. So go check that out. Uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye-bye.